back. So we kind of want this lesson to add a bit of information to the user when something goes wrong right here. Because right now when I click the login, I get an email is badly uh, formatted, but the user isn't told right now. Just in the console, nobody looks there. So uh, also let's try another one. If I just put in a bad email right here, it's still an email, but it's just a bad email. I'll get another message back. And I could also actually try and add the working email for now. And then I could put in a bad uh, password right here and try and log in and I will get another message again. So we want to kind of show these messages right here inside our actual code. So what we'll do is we'll try and add something called a snack bar. Now the snack bar is a pretty cool thing. It's something that when you click this guy, it'll pop up down here or wherever you want and just show that something was wrong. And we can also just uh, try and see some of the other things we can do with the snack bar. We can just open the normal snack bar right here with a message. And we can also add a message with some kind of action so we can undo something if we wanted to. And then we can actually also open the snack bar into a specific component if we want to. And we can do a few other things. You can get into this later if you want to kind of dive into what you can really do with a snack bar. But for now what we're going to do is pretty much just make a simple snack bar that just shows the error message for an amount of time and then hides again. How do we do this? Well, step one is to import the snack bar module. So let's jump to our code and add the snack bar module right here. Snack bar module. There it is. There we go. So now the snack bar module is available. That pretty much means that we can now inside our login right here say when an error happens, we actually want to show a snack bar. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to create an extra variable right here. And we're going to call that the snack bar. Let's just call it snack. That's just, I like snacks. And then we have a snack bar right here. Snack bar with a mat in front of it. Mat snack bar. And now I'm going to use this.snack to actually try and show the snack bar. So let's just change the error down here into actually being uh, some kind of method. So we'll say this.snack to kind of call the snack bar. And then we'll say uh, open. And then here I'm going to just for now show the message actually, just to try that out. So error.message right here. Message. There we go. Let's see if this can actually work. Uh, jumping back to the code. So going in here and I'm going to try and log in again with a bad piece of information. The email address is badly formatted. Sweet. It stays here for a while and hopefully it hides again at some point. Hopefully, 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 maybe never. That's because we need to put in some more information now. And what I want to do is I just want to add, this field will be blank because I don't have an action right now. Instead, what I want to do is I want to add a config here in the end. And you can actually start adding a lot of configurations. We'll try and just open the API in a second to show those. But I know one thing of the configurations is open. At least I think that's one of the configurations. And I just want to put that for a second right now, like this. It doesn't seem to like the word open, so maybe that's not the name. Let's try and jump in here and see if I'm actually right. Jumping into the API, scrolling down. It seems that if we scroll down here, you'll find the list of all the actions we can use. Here's one called duration. Maybe that's the one we want to use instead of open. So let's put in duration. There we go. Let's just save that. Back to the code. Let's see what happens now. Clicking this again, a second goes by and it hides again. Nice. Looks awesome. Let's actually put in a couple of seconds here to just show it for a couple of seconds. And just try again. The email is a, address is badly formatted. Okay, let's try and put in a proper email address. Uh, ljb.dk. There we go. And let's put in a wrong password. Press the login. The password is invalid or the user does not. I couldn't read that. That was too fast. So let's just add another couple of seconds here. Just let it stay there for a couple of seconds more. And again, you can just play around with this. Let's just put in an email that's wrong just to try the final one. And there we go. Now we're being told the user is not blah, 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 blah. The user has nah, 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 nah. There we go. So now we kind of have these beautiful, beautiful snack bars. And you can start playing around with this where you want to show the snack bar. You can actually explain if it should pop down from the top or from the side. Or you can do some crazy things. But now you know about the snack bar. Go and play with it if you want to. And now we kind of have some validation. When we click this guy, we're being told, at least as a user, that something went wrong. See you in the next lesson where we'll have even more fun.